Hello and welcome to Genie's Kitchen. Today we'll be doing homemade sweet and sour tofu. Alright, so we're going to start off with our fresh seasoning. We have some thyme, some escalion, garlic, onions, red and yellow bell peppers, and some hot pepper, scotch bonnet, if you want to have that extra spiciness to add to your pot. So I'll be using some salt, onion and garlic powder, black pepper, two blocks of firm tofu and some olive oil, some paprika and other seasonings. Alright, so we're going ahead now to prep our tofu and just go ahead and be careful to cut open the bag. It comes packaged in water and we are using firm tofu, alright, not silk but firm you can even use extra firm right so take it out of the liquid go ahead and give it a quick wash and then you can use a clean kitchen towel or paper towels napkins whatever you call them and squeeze out as much water as you possibly can by doing that you allow your tofu to absorb the flavors that you're going to be cooking it in so now that we have squeezed the tofu and gotten out most of the water out of it we're just going to go ahead and cut it right down the middle because we want to have smaller rectangular pieces to work with so that we can season as much of the tofu as possible so just go ahead and pat it dry and we're just going to stack them into each other and cut row by row Alright, so now what you need is just a bag, any bag, add your tofu in there and then you're going to add your seasoning and shake it all up so that it's evenly coated. Alright, so now I'm going in with some olive oil, some paprika, then I'm going to add in my black pepper you can choose to use whatever seasonings you like whatever taste that you like on your food i'm going in with some garlic and onion powder also some pink himalayan salt and you can use whatever salt that you have on hand but i just prefer to use a pink himalayan salt so once that's done just go ahead and shake up that bag ensure all pieces of tofu is covered all right and of course for this recipe you are going to need an air fryer all right so this gives you that fried tofu consistency without having to use as much oil and i absolutely love that so now just go ahead and work on the second block just as we did before so tip work in small batches of tofu just like i did here so instead of adding 
both blocks into the plastic bag with the seasoning I just worked with one block at a time and that way I was able to control my, my seasoning and how well they got coated and that's going to ensure that my tofu tastes delicious so now that everything has been seasoned I'm just going to go ahead and add it to my air fryer and give it a quick shake When did you discover that this is how the can of opener should be used? I discovered this last year. No, 2019. Voila! It pops right off. Let me get my pot. I'm just going to put everything from here. Get that good, good in. Mm -hmm. This is the foundation of your soap. So this one does not have any GMO ingredients in there, any, no artificial preservatives or ingredients, non-GMO verified, just the tomato paste and the citric acid. I was careful to select a uh, tomato paste that didn't have harmful ingredients in there like high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, that, that's, that one is a killer. A slow killer. Alright, so that aside. Then I'm going to add my agave. Look here, is that sweet and sour sauce? It's a sweet and sour sauce. Add it. Till it meets your liking of sweet and sour. A little bit of ginger juice. I poured a lot because this is not very strong. And then I'm gonna add my pineapple juice. And this is for the sour. This one is for the wind. Alright, just gonna do a little at a time. Mr. Stir. Alright, and then I'm just going to put this over heat and allow it to come together. It, this recipe does call for some soy sauce. Look at it, crispy and nice. Oi. Hot. Look at that niceness. Ooh, I wish you could see the steam coming out of it. It's delicious. And hot. Because the sauce helps to bring the flavors together. Alright. Alright, so I have my coconut oil 
on the stove waiting for it to heat up and I'm going to add in my, my seasoning so in here we have some yellow bell peppers red bell peppers some scallion chopped onions white onions you can use purple onions or red onions whatever they are called you can um, some garlic and uh, scotch bonnet pepper and some some thyme you know some thyme Allow the flavors to creep out. Creep out. Hmm. <laughs> we want all the oil to suck up or absorb the flavors of the of the seasoning okay so just saute these real nice real nice when you do this you realize how good it smells it smells divine, divine. So you don't want these to burn. Oh, look at this. Look at this beauty. You don't want them to burn, so that's why I'm just going over it. Keep turning it. Keep turning it. And turn it. I keep turning it. Keep turning it. And I will remove it from the pot, from the fire soon. To put on my sweet and sour sauce. I'm gonna put on my sweet and sour sauce. Woo! -wee! Now you see it. Now you do it. Nice. So now I've got my homemade sweet and sour sauce in the pot. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit because I want it to I want it to start bubbling. Sweet and sour sauce. It's divine. So all I'm going to do now, let me put this back. All I'm going to do now is just to uh, add some more like powdered seasoning. Well, not a lot, just just some black pepper. Because it's pretty much seasoned, I'm gonna turn this down, turn on the flame. It's pretty much seasoned already, it has the flavor that I want. I'm not going to add any water, I'm just going to add in my sauteed seasonings. See it pretty? Add those to the pot. Turn up by eat. Give it a nice swirl. And here are my bad boys. My tofu. This has been air fried. I don't know how many will make it into the pot.
front. So give this a nice whirl. Give it a nice twirl and swirl. Yes, just, just ensure that it is mixed in properly. So that all the tofu is covered and simmering in some delicious homemade sweet and sour sauce. Yes, but uh, wait, we're not done. We're not done. You can't have sweet and sour without pineapples. Guys, um, let me try and zoom in for you. Alright. I can't wait for you to try it for yourself. Just gonna give it a quick taste. Ensure that my sauce is as good as I need it to be. I'm just gonna allow this to simmer. I'm going to allow this to simmer. And that's that. This is what we're having currently. Um, lentil fritters. Homemade. Everything is all homemade, obviously. Lentil fritters. Oh, homemade yes. sweet and sour tofu. The best tofu in the world trust me and also um homemade roti this is all from genie's kitchen okay divine divine oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh